I waited in an elevator. I waited for things to change. The music played in the distance. It was actually quite nice. It gave me some time to think. Does change ever truly occur by waiting? If we are to simply stand idly by and wait for something to happen, is anything truly going to happen? People make the world go round. If nobody is doing anything, then nothing is happening. Will I ever get to my destination if all I'm going to do is stand here? Someone had to have invented the machine, the elevator, which takes an individual from one place to the next. They had to have done something. But what are we learning from this experience? What if my destination is 10 years from now? What if my location is years down the street, an aspiration that has always craved fulfillment, love, money, a decent job that I actually enjoyed? Instead, I'm learning from this machine that I need only to sit idly and wait. Wait for these things to occur naturally on their own. Wait for something better to happen to me, expecting it simply to be God's will. Is it truly? Is it truly the will of God to stand by and do nothing while the rest of the world unfolds without me? I waited in an elevator. Deep in thought, trapped in a box. Though I knew that this was no different than the box that I would wait inside elsewhere, my home. This was still an area with four walls, all which trapped my depression all around me, and reminded me of my failures. There was no possible way of getting out of that box. There's nothing that anyone can do to overcome such an entity. Though they may claim that they have a strong power of will, by the end of the day there are still chemicals in your brain interfering with your daily life, making it impossible to live. Each and every day is hell. Every breath you take is an agonized scream, as though part of your soul is leaking out of your body, begging for freedom. The ascending of the elevator was like the ascension of my spirit with every single night, clawing its way to the cold, closed gates of heaven. The gates would tower above me, taunting me with its freedom, inches away from my face, almost identically to the doors of the elevator. Never would I attain the peace of salvation. Never would I find myself amongst a choir of angels compelled to sing out of pure elation for all eternity. Nor would I ever emerge from this accursed machine which carried me from point A to point B to point C. No, instead the box was my prison. The box was my chain which pulled me down from the heavens and isolated me in my dying mortal coil that I called a body. Nothing would change. This shall be my own personal box, my body which shall break and crack into further dysfunctionality every single day. Another step, another horrendous error to be made. Until all that surrounded me was a garden of mistakes and flaws planted by the seeds of my past. I waited in an elevator. The doors open, but alas, it is not my stop. An old man comes to me from the other side. He enters the same trap that I have been stuck in my whole life. I stare at the old man and reflect. He presses a button. Up. He's going to the same location I am. He could be me in 50 years. He's a broken man, physically and psychologically. There's no life left within him. He looks, sadly enough, as though he's been dead for most of the time he's spent on this earthly plane. Now he's simply waiting for his body to rot like his spirit, and I empathize. 
I think of how I've spent weeks, months, years of my life in loneliness, contemplating the feebleness of my existence. I can never reach out of this empty shell. Its powers strip my soul of its will to fight back. I mindlessly agree with the fates and what they have given me, and allow the darkness to overcome me. Suffering weeps in my skull. I waited in an elevator. The old man noticed that the elevator came to a stop. This was his turn to get off. He stepped out. The doors closed slowly behind him, mechanically, heartlessly. The doors didn't care about salvation. The doors didn't care about the people who were trapped inside. They simply acted. Again, I was alone. Just as I have always been. And, much to my own shame, I have never had the courage to step out of this lonely world that has become my home, my box. I have never had the strength to greet other people. I waited in an elevator. I have never had the guts to lose my virginity for fear of being a bother to that woman who I cared so deeply for. I waited in an elevator. Tears stream down my face as I think of all the missed opportunities, all the friends that I could have spent time with in my youth but never did. I waited in an elevator. I scream with the essence of my soul. The elevator stops. It is time for me to get off. I am done waiting.